So we're going to show you how to remove an air box off a Sea View. Uh, this is an SPX 1997. Uh, it will work for other models. I'll have it listed here. But basically, this is the air box the silencer. Um, you need to remove it to get to anything on the carburetor or the starter. Basically, anything down there throttle related. Um, first thing you'll notice is it's got four clips here. One, two, and then two in the exact same place on the underside. Now you're going to want to unclip those. So if you push this little tab over, it'll slide right out. Same thing on this side. Push the tab over, slide it right out. And then the same on the bottom two. Slide it right out. And then that one. And this thing, the top should pop right off. Slide it out. This is the airbox construction um, as it would be inside. And you can notice there's one, two, three, four, five, and six clips that you need to take care of. Once you take those off, you have to bend this up and then you'll slide out. You have to do that for all. Which is a little harder than it sounds when it's still in the ski. Um, but it's doable still. And this will come right off. And it should have a seal on it. It should fight you a little bit. And this bracket holds both the uh, flame arrestor in and it holds the silencer and intake in. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, and your ski is going to have a six down here, but the previous owner obviously lost this one. So I'll go ahead and pop. Now you can pull this guy out, and the rest of the assembly will come out right afterwards. Now you can go ahead and take this other plastic piece off. Um, depending on the ski, it's going to be kind of a pain to get out, and you just have to kind of weasel it, maneuver it, and it slides out. But I can never remember how it comes out. to everything else down here, your starter, your air box, your, uh, sorry, plane arrestor, carburetor, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm.